see, man. Okay, that's actually a little bit more aggressive looking than I thought it was going to be on. Let's go ahead and start to slow it down. Like, they must have come flying around this corner because this is ridiculous. All right, let's go ahead and hit brakes. Oh, I'm getting a little wheel slip. There we go. Brakes, 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 brakes. Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Stormworks Build and Rescue, and today we are back with some more missions. So today is going to be a much different episode than what we normally do. Normally if we're doing missions, we'll go out on a plane or a helicopter or a boat and try to perform some awesome rescues, but today... This is all about trains. So the old Rainbow Research and Construction, it's actually a Rainbow, I think Trinet, I believe is the name, has come up with a new mission set and it all revolves around trains. Now on that workshop, there are several different train cars that you can customize your own train to fit the missions. So we've got the engine right here. I'm about to go back into the workshop and I'm gonna grab the firefighter cart and the medical cart and I might grab a crane cart if it doesn't lag too bad. And we're gonna go out on the rails and actually do some uh, rescues and hopefully I don't crash the train. Uh, we'll see how this is gonna work. So. Anyways, links are in the description. If you guys are enjoying submissions here in Stormworks, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And if you guys have any suggestions for future Stormworks episodes, comment below. Alright, so I'm trying to figure out if it's actually necessary that I have the, uh, the main engine out. Because there's an emergency wagon. Well, I guess it is just a wagon, but there's also a firefighter one right here. So let me go and spawn this. Does this drive too? I bet you this has an engine on it also. Oh, let's spawn that one. Uh, frame rate's not bad. I, I think I can get one more in. I'm debating if I just want to go ahead and get a maybe a crane car out or if I want to actually get the emergency cart. All right, so let's go ahead and open up the door here. Uh, these are really, really simple to control. I'm just going to make sure. Do I have an engine here? Oh, I do. All right, don't forget to put all the levers in neutral and deactivate the brakes before changing the control position. All right, let's turn on heater there. Let's go ahead and start this. You know, I could probably actually despawn that main engine that I was just showing. Alright, there's the water cannons. So, I'm assuming this thing is lined up with water cannons on top and... Oh, you've got this massive tank here. That is really, really awesome. It's a firefighting train. Uh, there's an equipment bay back here. That's pretty sweet. Uh, the release, I'm assuming that's for the connection. Hmm, how do we want to do this? I'm de really, really debating. Like, I think we're actually going to probably despawn the first one, and this will be the front of the train. All right, let's pull this out real quick. All right, this one works a little bit different. I need to find the... Let's see, are the brakes on? Okay, the brakes are off. I need to find the clutch real quick. Uh, let's toggle button. Ah, you know what? There's the note. Note, this uh, locomotive cannot move by itself. Okay, well... Uh, do I want to throttle this? This might just be a, uh, nope, that's actually draining the battery there. Uh, let's go ahead, turn that off. Let's turn the heater off. Alright, so that does answer my question. You need the engine there. Alright, we're still draining battery. Does this thing have a generator on it? I'm gonna look it up real quick. Let's go ahead. I'm gonna back the other, uh, the engine up and we're gonna hook on. Alright, so we just connected that. So let's go ahead and pull forward here. So let's turn off the reverse. And let's go clutch in. Oh, oh, she's slipping. Okay, there it goes. All right, and are we out? Yes, we are. Let's go ahead and brake. All right, so we are only going to attach in one more cart because I'm thinking it's going to get laggy after this. So the question is, is it generating power? Or are we going to have to... Uh, I'm going to have to read a little bit more about that. Okay, firefighter suits. All right, there's plenty of those. I'm going to see how that works because I don't want to not have power uh, to those pumps... Uh, when we get out to a fire. Alright, so this is the cherry picker cart. Uh, I'm gonna back this one up. This is like a, a little crane that we can use. And I'm still debating. I, I think we are gonna go ahead and grab the emergency cart too. So we'll have a four car train. Oh, I hope my frame rate is okay after this. Alright, last but not least, we have the emergency wagon. I'm assuming there's some sort of little mini hospital in there. So I think we have a pretty complete train here. Four carts. Main engine, firefighting, uh, some sort of crane just in case, maybe something blocking the tracks. Uh, I don't know how well that's going to work in its position. And then, of course, we have the uh, emergency cart on the end. So we're going to go take some calls as soon as I get this hooked up. 
Now, I do believe there's two connectors to each cart, and I think this front cart is actually charging the back carts, which is really cool. All right, click, there we go. Let's go and put them brakes on real quick. Get out of reverse. All right, and three, two, one. Let's go and release that. All right, we're gonna start to pull the train here. Let me go ahead and close the door. Pretty cool system here. By the way, there's the uh, engine. There's the back side of the car. Let's go ahead and close that. Uh, we do have firefighting equipment. Of course, I've already, uh, I'm wearing the cold equipment right now. Is there a light in here? I don't think there is. All right, so we are good to go down the tracks. I'm going to slow down a little bit. What does this look like? Oh, that actually looks sweet. That is really, really awesome. I'm finally glad we get to use the trains again. All right, so let's go ahead and pull up these missions. Go to workshop and let's go down to the rainbow research and construction. So let's see, we have a train derailment, which is probably what we're gonna do here. Clean wreck train, pretty cool. Ice transport, long range delivery. I bet you that's from the Arctic all the way down to the mainland. That'd be kind of cool. Probably be boring for a video, but I think I'd actually really enjoy that. Uh, uncontrollable train. That is pretty cool. An uncontrollable train on fire. So I think we're going to spawn in the uh, actual uh, train crash here, and uh, or the train derailment. Let's spawn that in. Let's go ahead and locate this where it is on the tracks. Now this isn't like being on... Oh, where is this thing? Uh-oh. Don't tell me it's 100 kilometers. Oh, it's 7 kilometers out. I was like, if this is 100 kilometers out, that is uh, no bueno. All right, so we just have to go south here on the main tracks. Doesn't look like we'll have to switch any tracks. That's what changes the whole dynamic here, having these uh, train missions. The whole fact you got to watch where your switch points are, which I'm assuming there is none. We just got to go down the main line here. So, all right, 7 kilometers out. Let's go ahead. We're going to clutch all the way. Actually, better not because of a uh, wheel slip. Let's go and release the brakes. There she goes. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's get some speed here. All right, man, I like this a whole lot. Oh, that's wheel slip. Gotta be very, very careful. Just ease up ever so slightly. I don't know, I might always get wheel slip. Yeah, it seems like the max I can go is about 46 on the clutch there. All right, yeah, we're getting booking now. This isn't too bad. All right, let's get out there real quick. Ah, hear that mighty horn. That's cool. Uh, about five kilometers out here. The tracks are meeting together. I think there's another depot. Uh, let's open the door here, try not to fall out. There's another depot right over there somewhere. Uh, that's where this track... Actually, there it is. Uh, so that's where that part of the track meets up. There's a third set of tracks that intersects this uh, position up here, a little further south. I'm trying to make sure I don't have to switch. I don't think I do. Because, let's go ahead and see if the map is updated. Yeah, because you can see these all lead south. I don't know where this set of tracks over here goes. I'm actually kind of curious, but I'm pretty sure this is all in the meeting point. So it's going to be a little awkward. I'm a little worried the whole fact that this train could be in our lane. It's derailed, but is it derailed on the tracks? Or is it derailed over to the side? It's a lot of questions that are about to be answered here relatively soon. But come on, folks. Look at this. This is cool. I don't know how we haven't checked this out. This has been on the workshop for a good, oh, probably almost a month now. Uh, but I'm really actually glad we're doing this. All right, less than a kilometer out, there's a bend here. So obviously the train crashed somewhere. Oh, there we go. It's loading in right now. Okay, you see the smoke? All right, this might be a little bit laggy. Let's go ahead. We're going to back off the clutch a little bit. Oh, can we get a wide view of this? All right, that is a big train. I am seeing several plumes of smoke right now. All right, it is going to be, from what I can tell, it's going to be on the left side of the track. I do apologize for the frame rate right now. It is going to get a little choppy because there's a lot going on. Uh, we're going to slow down. We're going to stop right beside it. We'll jump over in the firefighter cart. This is where, if this would run good in two players, somebody could actually guide the engine up and down the tracks while the other person uh, were to use the firefighter cart. But unfortunately, of course, I don't have that right now with another person. I'm not sure how this would run with one more person and all this going on on screen. Maybe you should have just taken the engine in the firefighter cart. Holy man. Okay, that's actually a little bit more aggressive looking than I thought it was going to be on. Let's go ahead and start to slow it down. Like, they must have come flying around this corner because this is ridiculous. All right, let's go ahead and hit brakes. Oh, I'm getting a little wheel slip. There we go. Brakes, 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 brakes. Uh, oh, I see people all out here. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. Come on. There we 
we go. All right. All right, so there was four carts. Main bit of fire is over on the left side. Uh, we're going to do this cart by cart here. I should be able to reach. All right, everybody, hold on to your butts. This is going to get a little shaky. That is actually really intense looking. Wow. Okay. Uh, let's get back to the firefighter cart here. Everybody remain calm. You know, why would you stand that close to a burning train? There's people just standing out there. They're like, hey, <laughs> look, there's a train on fire. Uh, why are we rolling? Brakes are applied right now. Okay. Uh, so hopefully we don't roll much. All right. So I'm going to be apparently aimed the wrong way. Let's go ahead and start this up. Please tell me there's battery. Okay. It is charging. All right. So we're good here. Uh, okay. Let's go ahead. Get right here. All right. Let's go ahead. Ooh. Okay. So apparently we have control. Oh, there is a lot of controls here. All right. So that's toggling. That's the front one back one. Alright, let's go ahead and turn the back one towards that. Check that out. That is awesome. Alright, so back one's there. We need to get the middle one. Uh, question is how do you do the middle one? I don't know if we could... I know you could turn the middle one on, but I don't see controls for the middle one. From what I can read here, I can toggle it. Does toggling... Yeah, that just turns on the water. Alright, you know what? No time here. Let's go front and let's go back. All right, so front and back are on. Let's go ahead and turn off the middle one. Hopefully, we've got a lot of water here. All right, turning the back. The front one cannot reach, so we're going to deactivate the front because uh, it's rotation. I don't think it goes around back like we need it to. So we're going to be using the back cannon. So we're going to go ahead, rotate it over there. All right, shift it over to the left side. Uh, you're kidding me, right? I can't go back any further? Uh-oh, we might be backing this train up a little bit. All right, so let's go ahead and get the water up. All right, so you can see I'm soaking the front part of the train. Uh, I'm going to need to back up a little bit with the uh, front engine. This definitely is a uh, probably a several-person job. Maybe two to three people would be ideal for this train. All right, we're going to start backing it up a little bit here. Uh, there we go. We're just going to roll back probably as slow as possible here. Uh, maybe we'll give it a little bit more. There we go. All right, let's get this thing back. All right, there goes the fire. That should be good there. Let's go and apply the brakes again. All right, we should be lined up. This is going to take a little bit of time here. There we go. We're starting to wear that fire out. It's looking good. All right, let's uh, pitch it up a little bit. There we go. We're starting to soak that back part. It's almost out. Oh, we need to go up a bit. I really, really, really hope I don't run out of water. I'm pretty sure, I don't know if there's, I know there's a connection on the side where you can hook in to get uh, water, but I don't know if there's one that maybe you can drop off a bridge or something, say if you have another fire and you're close to a water source. Uh, that would be pretty cool to see, but I don't know if that's a feature right now. Alright, fire is almost dead on the first cart. Come on, baby. Uh, oh, okay, the cart moved a little bit. Come on, get it, get it, and... Alright, so hopefully that doesn't burst back into flames. I, I think we are... Yeah, it's out. Okay, we're going to move the hose to the back here. There's some people in this area, so I'm going to get the water on this. Oh, no, i got to back up even further. So, yeah, these cannons don't have full 360 degrees of coverage, so you do have to move the train quite a bit. All right, I'm going to back up a little further, and we'll work on the second cart, and then we'll hit the big fire. All right, here we go. That is looking good about right there. All right, start hitting the brakes. All right, slow this down. All right, I think I should be able to get two things of water on this one. All right, let's turn the front cannon. There we go. Yeah, we got this, folks. All right. Oh, are you serious? Does the front cannon really stop right there? It's a tease. Like, I'm so close to being able to hit it. I don't know. The back cannon's doing a pretty good job right now. I uh, might just be able to take care of it there. Is there anybody in this? No, it looks like it is, is empty. Okay, cool. At least we got that going for us. All right, second cart has burned out. All right, we're good to go. All right, we better probably conserve some water here. So I'm going to turn that cannon off. And uh, we need to back up one more time, and we should be within range of the major part of the fire. All right, I got two cannons within range now. So front cannon, let's go ahead and start hitting this one right in front of us. Back cannon, we're going to take care of the back fire right there. There we go. That's what I was wanting to see. I was wanting to get to use multiple cannons. All right, that's looking good. I just hope we have enough water. That is a, a little bit of a concern to me right now, but I'm thinking that we're, we're probably good. Hopefully. We'll have to see. 
Okay, back fire is officially out. We're going to move the back cannon towards the main fire on the cart. There we go. Let's move that up. Can it reach? Oh, yeah, it reaches. Reach is great. All right, and then we can focus the front cannon. And actually, some of my lag's going away. I guess the fire's kind of laggy. All right, so uh, that's about as far as I can turn with that front one, but I still think we are affecting it some right there. It's a lot of water going on this. It's looking good, though. I think we got this. All right, backfire is good. We did it. Wow, we actually did it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this is way too successful for a normal Komodo mission. All right, so what we need to do here... Let's go and round everybody up. I guess we're going to transport them back. Actually, where are we taking them? Uh, it is seven kilometers. Are we just taking them back to the station? I don't know. I would assume that's the station there. All right. We're going to grab everybody here. I'm going to send them back to this back cart, and we'll load them up in the uh, emergency wagon. Guys, don't try to jump on the moving train. Are you guys stupid? Uh, the AI wouldn't move for a second because I guess they didn't want to go onto the tracks, and now they're actually jumping towards a moving train. All right, Stormworks AI, you're just a wee bit on the stupid side. Hopefully we didn't kill anybody. Oh, look at this. So now you guys want to follow me. All right, everybody, gather up. We're going to go into the uh, emergency cart. I know everybody's a little bit cold. We'll turn on the heater. Everybody will be uh, A-OK. -okay. Don't push me, you pushy people. You know, you're out in the Arctic. Why are you not wearing Arctic gear? Like, it, it's a little cold out, is it not? I don't know. Sometimes things happen that I'm questioning always. All right, do we have a heater? Yes, we do. All right, looking good. Turn that on. All right, everybody's going to be okay here. Does nobody know how to... Yeah, of course you don't know how to climb up in here. All right, it's, you know, it's fine. It's fine. All right, we got plenty of seats, I think, for everybody. All right, everybody's loaded up, ready to go. Let's go ahead and get these people out of here. They probably already had a rough day. You know, if you were just involved in a train derailment, would the next thing that you want to get on is another train to take you to safety? I'm not really sure about that one. It's a, a little questionable, but anyways, I think we have to reverse up the track, so we are going to be going technically at the back of the train and reversing it all the way back to what I'm assuming is the station. I'll see if we need a track switch, but I, I think it's uh, back where we came from. Oh, maybe there is like a little medical area over there that I'm not aware of. All right, the Arctic Express is rolling out. We done saved some more people. I'm assuming the, uh, the clean up the wrecked train mission is the exact same one. Except for they're not on fire, and I guess you just have to move them out of the tracks. All right, this is going to take a little bit. I don't think we're going near as fast in reverse. Ah, look at that beautiful Arctic sunset. It's glorious looking. It's actually uh, going to be a nice night. Oh, no, 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 we're track switching. We're track switching. We're track switching. No, 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 no. Reverse. Are you serious? Oh, 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 oh. Sorry, people. It's a little bit of a bumpy ride. I, don't, I think I'm going to wind up dropping you guys off at the wrong spot. I forget how track switchers work sometimes. Uh, I actually need to go back and reverse the one on the left side here. Uh, let's get our flashlight on. It's getting dark. Uh, you guys will eventually end the... Uh, or at least get off this train and maybe your traumatic experience is going to eventually end. Alright. Back it back up. Uh, Timbuk says we have to do that with the track switch on the other side, too. This is going to stink. All right, let's go uh, switch this real quick. All right, let's try not to fall off the bridge here. There we go. Nope, oh, nope, nope. Why do I feel like that push button's almost out of reach? There we go. Ah, right, people, it's okay. <laughs> Everybody's probably really frightened in the cart back there. We have to slam on the brakes. All right, we've almost made it back into the terminal. Actually, do you guys see the lighthouse now? They actually changed that in a recent update. The lighthouse is used to really not be bright at all. I'm going to zoom in on it here. It's coming around. There it goes. Check that out. So you can actually see them like, from a distance now. Uh, you used to have to get really close, and it used to look a little glitchy, but I think they've changed some of the lighting effects. So we're about to pull into the terminal. The place we're actually going to take them is actually right next door. There's a little outpost there. Uh, it's kind of where we've uh, dropped off some people before for a rescue, so I'll probably skip that, but very, very cool train system. I like this. There's more carts that we didn't go over. Of course, we never got to use the uh, one cart with the crane on it, but there are several others. There's like flatbed ones, so uh, we might do some more train stuff. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, Timbex says we turn here, don't we? Yep. Of course. Man, those track switches are annoying. They need to have kind of like in Derail Valley where you can point something and switch them ahead of time instead of have to get out. 
but you guys get the point. But anyways, I want to thank you guys for all the love and support on the series. You guys are absolutely amazing about the Stormworks episodes. Uh, if you want to see some more rescues, let me know down in the comment section below. But we will see you guys next time.